hello children a very happy new year to one and all and welcome back again to the science video class well today in this video class we are going to study about the three forms of water now let's start the class so children there are three forms of water that is liquid solid and gas clouds bring water as rain on high mountains the water comes down as snow we see water in three forms now let us learn about them liquid water is most commonly used in a liquid form the water you drink is a liquid a liquid is something that can flow a liquid has no shapes of its own it just take the shapes of the container it is in solid water can also take another form it can become solid when water freeze to become ice water changes from liquid to solid form a solid is something that has a definite shape it is something you can hold gas water can take a third form it can become a gas when water is heated it changes from liquid into gas called water vapor a gas is something you cannot see a gas mixes with the air a gas has no shape so we can say that water can take three forms liquid solid or gas so children now we know that water has three forms you also know that water can change from one form to another but in nature this changes takes place on their own it is called the water cycle now let's learn about the water cycle in detail there is water in the lake river seas and oceans as this water gets heated by the sun it evaporates it becomes water vapor this water vapor mixes with the air and rises high into the sky it is cool there and the water vapor turns into tiny water drops these join to make clouds when clouds become big and heavy water falls down as rain this rain water fill lakes rivers seas and oceans as the sun shines water changes into water vapor again and so the water cycle goes on and on so children there are three things you have to remember that is number 1 when water turns into water vapor it is called evaporation number 2 when water vapor turns into water it is called condensation number 3 the condensed water falls to the earth soon it evaporate again so this three is very important you have to remember this three points next is the water pollution water also gets polluted when we throw waste in the water polluted water is bad for people plants and animals many sea and water animals and plants die because of pollution every year pollution is caused by humans we all must take care not to do things which cause pollution now i am going to tell you four points about water pollution how we pollute the water dear children now i am going to tell you four points about the water pollution number 1 is the many harmful chemicals also reach the underground water and make it toxic or poisonous number 2 factory waste is poisonous it is often pour into a river number 3 very often garbage is just dumped into a river number 4 chemicals used on a farm are washed away by the rain they often end up in the river these chemicals can be harmful so my dear children here comes the end of the topic so we will study a new topic in the next video class till then stay safe bye bye